This is priority. Today's agriculture is increasingly dependent on fluent data transfer. The amount of data, integrated data processing systems, and the transfer of real-time video need proper, lag-free data connections. Commercial mobile networks may not always be capable of handling these requirements. Noticing yet another problem in the network, the farmer calls a mobile operator and requests a local base station to be set up. The operator crew arrives and swiftly sets up a local mobile network. After the base station is installed, a speed test is run to make sure data transfer is at the required level. At the heart of the farm's operations is the Enterprise Resource Planning System. Connected to the ERP's local data network, different sensors and machinery help the farmer predict, optimize and control the operations on his farm. The mobile infrastructure includes a base station, drones, animal and property monitors, continuous operations and connections inside and outside, underground field sensors and cybersecurity tools. Security cameras and air quality sensors record the conditions inside the barn. Their data is routed through the local mobile network to the Enterprise Resource Planning System and barn personnel's computers. This way, barn personnel are able to continuously monitor the welfare of the animals and the quality of their surroundings. Today, cropping is planned to the last detail in the Resource Planning System utilizing sensors, satellites and weather data. Satellite maps can be used to monitor field status and crop development with spectral analysis such as NDVI, which helps to determine the precise dose of fertilizer needed. The up-to-date conditions on the field can be checked using the data from weather stations and sensors installed on site. The sensor locations and their data is shown on the map. With reliable and up-to-date information, it's easy to keep the cropping plan updated. Remote-controlled farming relies on secure data networks. Less and less human effort is needed in many tasks, such as fertilizing. Once the cropping plan is final, it is wirelessly transferred to a remote-controlled tractor. Using remote control information transferred from the Enterprise Resource Planning System over the mobile network, the tractor is steered to the fertilizer loading station. The tractor is checked to make sure all equipment and connections work as they should. When everything's in place, the vehicle is steered towards the field. On the field, the tractor utilizes GNSS satellite-based positioning and automatic steering with predetermined driving lines. At his computer, the farmer keeps an eye on the vehicle's dashboard to make sure everything runs smoothly. Monitoring the tractor in action makes it possible to react to any anomalies. Thanks to remote attestation, the network is able to detect cyber attacks and any malicious software. The farmer is alerted about the security problem by the diagnostics tool. The network automatically prevents the attack and the vehicle is able to continue. A drone can be used to capture video or photos of crop growth, the distribution of fertilizer granules and possible foreign objects on the fields. The farmer chooses a pre-planned flight route which is transferred to the drone via the data network. He then starts the drone and it takes off, following its route automatically. Over the field, it gathers information and captures video. At the office, the farmer is able to watch the video image, captured by the drone and transferred via the data network, in real time. To spot foreign objects and the distribution of fertilizer granules, the drone flies closer to the ground. Finally, the drone flies itself back to the launch pad. Smart Agriculture aims to promote farm productivity and profitability by taking advantage of modern technologies and methods. The Priority Project aims for better mobile network coverage that increases the data transfer capacity in agriculture. This is Priority.